Now I'm going to start with a few highlights that were mentioned in the annual review and which would probably have been mentioned by those staff who are not appearing later. And what better place to start with than the successful hatching of the 150th osprey to be born at Rutland Water in the 23rd year of the reintroduction project. In all, in this year, 24 osprey chicks were ringed and colour ringed, and the 150th osprey chick is the one on the middle left and is called 05619. For the first time also, there were two nests each with four chicks, which is a tremendous achievement. Other highlights at Rutland Water included the opening of the new shallow water hide, here being officially opened by the Lord Lieutenant of Rutland, Dr. Sarah Furness and Mike Gale. The brilliant educational resource at the Linden Visitor Centre, which we call the Teal Hide, which was opened by Nick Baker, and the amazing Time in Nature project in partnership with Dementia Adventure, Age UK and our local Admiral Nurse. Moving over to Leicester and a project we will continue to hear much more about, we worked in partnership with the Environment Agency and Atkins Global at Narborough Bog to try and research some innovative uh, techniques of fl natural flood management. You can see here that a tree has been felled across the riverbank uh, and roped down to create a leaky barrier to the flow of the river when it floods, hopefully holding the waters back from the city. This particular project is being featured in publications around the world now. Outside of the nature reserves, we've been doing great stuff too, in partnership here with private landowners, uh, for example, here in the Charnwood Forest, creating corridors of less heavily managed vegetation to provide refuge and safe passage for wildlife in the landscape. And last but not least, we don't shy away from the need to take our cause and our message to those who we think need to hear it. And in the summer of 2019, a hardy band of staff and volunteers joined other wildlife trusts in London for the Time Is Now campaign, where we met a number of MPs to put forward our message that we really need to do more for nature. So that's a quick introduction to some of the highlights. And now I'm going to hand over to some of the conservation team for their personal highlights. Hi, I'm Chris, conservation officer at Leicestershire and Rutland Wildlife Trust. I care for seven sites along the Saw Valley, one of which being this one, Cottington Meadows Nature Reserve. Now, my wildlife highlight of the year is without doubt the successful fledging of 12 barn owl chicks in 2019. By providing ideal conditions for the proliferation of small mammals, should keep Cottington Meadows at the forefront of barn owl conservation for years to come. Thank you. Hi, my name is John Bristow. I'm the conservation officer responsible for a number of grassland nature reserves in the northeast of Leicestershire and into Rutland. My highlight of last year was seeing the range of butterfly species at our wonderful nature reserve at Ketton Quarry. Of particular note for this locally scarce grizzled and dingy skipper whose larval food plants rely on short limestone grassland which we are managing by cutting and removal with volunteers and also these wonderful little four-legged mowers a little flock of heritage sheep which include the lighter coloured Manx Lockton and the darker Hebridean sheep. Hi I'm Neil my highlight for the year is the continuing management of the acid grasslands at Alverscroft where we've been restoring the uh, grassland from uh, woodland that has developed over the last 50 years. Uh, we've continued our work to remove some of the trees uh, whilst maintaining the grassland through grazing and the most recent thing is the purchase of a new cut and collect machine that's enabled us to mow some of these fields that you can see here um, to remove brambles, gorse, bracken, things like that uh, and encourage the uh, acid grassland loving species that uh, are really quite rare now. Um, much rarer than the woodland that we've had to remove in order to re-establish the, the grasslands. But it's all moving in the right direction um, and there's more to come.
Hello, I'm Joe Davis, Senior Reserve Officer for Habitats at Rutland Water Nature Reserve, which is managed by the Lesser and Rutland Wildlife Trust in partnership with Anglian Water. One of the highlights for me last year was to re-landscape some of the islands on the new lagoons. We found that the islands were a little bit too high. These are new lagoons and we re-landscaped them to drop them below 65 centimetres to enable better feeding opportunities and breeding opportunities for, for wildfowl and waders, particularly shoveler and, uh, and gadwall, and also widgeon, which you might be able to hear in the background. So the new lagoons there were all lowered and, and levelled to make them flatter so birds can see predators coming to them and also um, to create more edge and more feeding. That was a really successful project and the birds are flourishing. Thank you. Hi, I'm Natalie and my highlight was carrying out quadrat surveys at Dimmingsdale Nature Reserve in northwest Leicestershire in order to monitor the condition of the acid grassland. Working with an enthusiastic grazier and the hard work of our volunteers has resulted in a thriving acid grassland getting more and more diverse every year. Hello, my name's Andy. I'm a reserves officer based at the Old Mill on Saw Lane. Um, and the main part of my role is leading volunteer groups across our set of 34 nature reserves, like the one pictured behind me. Here we are at Cossington Meadows, getting rained on. Uh, the highlight of the year for me um, in 2019-2020 was uh, being able to run about 140 of groups like this uh, across Leicestershire and Rutland doing a wide variety of tasks such as coppicing and uh, tree thinning and fencing and scrub clearance. All manner of jobs that re are required to keep our reserves in tip-top shape. Um, the positive benefits I see from our volunteers being able to come out and work towards a good cause and getting fresh air really inspires me as a, as a staff member with our organisation. Um, so yes, yeah, that would be the highlight for me. Hi, I'm Paul Trevor, one of the reserves officers here at Rutland Water Nature Reserve, working for the Wildlife Trust. One of my highlights of the previous year was taking the trainees, the training reserve officers, through their journey uh, from usually a graduate up to a, a fully trained reserves officer. Um, what we do is we help them learn all the techniques that are needed for managing uh, an area like this, the SPA, the Triple SI. Uh, we go through brush cutters, chainsaws, fencing. We've um, got an example here of some trainees working away on a bit of fencing. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you last year's trainees because they've moved on. Um, but uh, yeah, we really enjoy seeing them develop into uh, fantastic uh, countryside workers. And uh, yeah, that's always a joy for me. Um, yeah, thanks very much. I am Claire, Senior Conservation Officer, and I'm standing here at Charmwood Lodge Nature Reserve, which is one of our amazing reserves in the Charmwood Forest area. We've been doing a lot of work in this area over the past year, and one of the key work streams has been involved with a landscape partnership scheme. So this is called Charmwood Forest Regional Park Partnership, and it's um, involving a lot of different partners, of which we are one of them and we've initially done some work in a development phase of the project looking at habitat network mapping and also a biodiversity audit and we're pulling together a bid for the del delivery phase of the project and we need to bid separately for this to see if we can get funding to fund further work. We're looking at doing a grassland project so looking at connecting priority grasslands in the area and also a project that is aimed at wildlife recording and getting people out looking for wildlife. So this hedgerow as it is here um, is a great breeding habitat for a lot of our um, resident birds, Rob robins, dunnocks, wrens will really enjoy this but it's also a great wildlife corridor for small mammals moving throughout the countryside. But by laying it and just sort of controlling its expansion really, um, we have managed to, just in this small stretch here, we've managed to save 300 square metres of grassland, which has been taken over by the blackthorn within this hedgerow. So, um, yeah, better quality hedgerow and protecting the grasslands as well. Hi, uh, I hope that gives you a good idea of the fantastic work that the team have done over the, over the year 1920. Not just the staff of course, but the volunteers. Um, and my highlight for the year was actually sitting in the end of my very first week in the command room at the bird fair. 
um, just watching with awe and admiration the uh, the stoic, the good humour, the uh, fantastic way in which the team, uh, staff and volunteers uh, coped with thousands of visitors, coped with torrential rain. Um, and it made me realise what a fantastic team we have, both of staff and volunteers, not just over at Rutland Water, of course, but everywhere else across the county. Uh, and I really look forward to working with everybody over the next year too. Thank you.